video, I'll be showing you how to sign in with Google on the code.org platform and then how to use the taste lab to design different shapes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. You can click on the link in the description below to, to get to these websites. So it's www.co.org and let's get started. Now after launching this page, the next thing for you to do is just to click on the sign in button. I'll click on the sign in button, which is easy for you to do. And then without wasting too much time, just click on continue with Google. Now, after you click on continue with Google, you select your Gmail account. You can, I, I have different Gmail account. I have this one. I have this one. I can decide to pick on anyone, but I'll be picking this. All right. So when you select your Gmail account, it's going to ask you for your age. You need to select your age. And after that, you get to the dashboard. All right. So now the first thing I want to show you is how to use the artist lab. The artist lab, we have the sprite lab, the artist lab, the app lab, and then the game lab. So I'll be focusing in this tutorial on what? Artist lab. So can we click on artist lab? So I'll be showing you how to draw shapes, any type of shape that you want. So uh, we have our sprite right here ready to follow our instruction and then we have our event right there. So we have on this block area, we have actions, we have brush, we have loops, we have math, we have logic, function, variable, and um, comments. But for now, I'll be focusing on what? Just actions. So now, what do we want to draw? Let's take, for example, we want to draw a square. All right? So let me just analyze that by opening the paint, and then I'll explain. So to draw a square, you get a brush, and then this is where my sprite is. So you move forward, turn to the right, move forward, turn to the right again, move forward, turn to the right again, and then you move forward to draw your square. All right. So now let's do that for our artist lab. So the first set of instruction you want to do is what? You turn it to move forward. How many pixels do you want um, the paint to be? Let's say, for example, 100 pixels. Okay, so now it's moved forward. So now the next thing is for for us to turn to the right. So turn to the right. Now, how many degrees do you want you to turn to the right? Now, I need you to take note that for you to turn to the right, in order to face this direction, you need to f turn 90 degree to the right. Do you understand? So now you turn it to turn 90 degree to the right. So we say what? Turn 90 degree. Can you see? It's already showing you that. If you say 45 degree, so that's 45 degree. Can you see? And if you say 30 degree, that's 30 degree. And if you say 60, that's 60. So we want it to be 90 degree because we're drawing a square. All right. So now that it is turned to the right. So what do you think would be the next um, instruction? Move forward. That's it. Move forward. And then we're still using what? 100 pixels. Can you see that? We're drawing it already. And then you turn to the right again. You turn to the right again. So turn to the right, 90 degree. All right, the same way. All right, and then you repeat the same step. All right, move forward, turn to the right, move forward 100 pixels. And you see that? And then you turn to the right again, 90 degree. And now you now move forward. So we have been able to draw our shape. And that is how to draw a square using the code lab. So the good thing about the artist lab is that you can use the artist lab to draw any shape of your kind. All right, but in this tutorial, we have focused on how to draw a square. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw um, a window, something a bit complex than this. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you understand this concept. You can actually continue drawing any shape of your um, of your choice in the next tutorial i'll show you the next thing to do hope you enjoyed it um i want you to comment in the comment section below subscribe tell your friends about this lovely channel and i promise to deliver more and more videos bye